are T minus eight for this debt ceiling deadline. That conversation certainly linked to the longer term one of how to reduce the deficit. Our next guest has some specific suggestions for how to do that. Philip Swago worked as the Assistant Secretary for Economic Policy at the U.S. Treasury Department, also as a senior economist at the White House Council of Econo Economic Advisors. He is now a professor at the University of Maryland. He is with us this morning from Boston. Philip, thanks so much for being with us. Where do you think are the areas of compromise, especially given that we missed that self-imposed deadline of 4 p.m. yesterday? Yeah, that's right. T minus eight. It's tough. I mean, I think we're now plan B is gone and we're in plan C, which has got to be a least common denominator approach. So there's maybe a trillion and maybe a little bit more than a trillion dollars of uh, spending reductions. We'll see that and, and we'll see a process that says that Congress will go back over the next six, six to eight months and try to do more, try to do better. And then I think, look, Speaker Banner said his offer is still on the table and there's 800 billion of, of revenue there. So he's not, in a sense, he's not saying no taxes, never. He's saying not now, but we'll, we'll go back and talk about is it. Is that enough, though? Is that enough of an offer, so to speak, from the Republicans to President Obama? Uh, you know, I think in the end it will be because, I mean, essentially President Obama is saying, look, I want to kick the can down the road 13 months. And the speaker is saying, no, we want to kick the can down the road six months. And it's just not credible to say, I'm going to let, you know, all the bad consequences you've been talking about this morning happen for a difference of, you know, seven months, and, and everyone's kicking the can down the road. We're, we're, we're not really addressing the long-term uh, challenge because there's no time right now, eight days. Philip, you've looked at some of the pretty bigger picture issues as we go on, as you say. Right now we're in crunch time. The, a short-term solution needs to be found, but longer term, you've been looking at Medicare, you've been looking at Social Security, you've been looking at agriculture subsidies. Which places make the most sense to you to have some compromise? Sure, sure. I mean. Uh, you know, the two, the two big entitlement programs, Medicare and Social Security, ultimately we have to look at those. And those were opened up for discussion in the, uh, you know, the, the debate between um, the, the president and the speaker, but really not the details. I, I think Medicare is the big one. Everyone understands eventually we're going to go to a premium support model where the government essentially gives people a voucher and says, you know, you got to choose your own health care. Eventually, it doesn't have to be like uh, Paul Ryan's plan exactly, but it's going to be along those lines. And obviously, President Obama can't go there until after his reelection. Yeah, it's a tricky uh, political wicket. Thank you so much, Philip Swagel, joining us there, professor of economic policy at the University of Maryland.